guys, welcome to my review of One Piece Chapter 860 and 861. What I'll do is I'll talk briefly about 860 and then go on to 861 as I don't really have a lot to say on 860. Now, don't get me wrong, 860 is really good. It is a 10 out of 10 chapter, absolutely amazing, but it is very, very set up. Like, you can tell it is like all the guests coming in, and I will say I'm slightly disappointed because we don't know any of the guests. Like, we do get to meet all the Big Mom commanders. We get to meet, uh, Dogtooth, who had, Dogtooth Charlotte, who had a bounty of 1 billion, 57 million berries. So, yeah, I would be more hyped about him, but that's all we know. I mean, I, I respect him already. I'm like, this guy is strong. Like, look at what Jack did on Joe. Like, I stand by, I think Jack is pretty strong. I think he's relatively powerful. Um, not Yoko level, but he's, like, Admiral. But, um, no, but, so, yeah, Dogtooth is, like, probably stronger than Jack. Um, but then again, I can't really base that solely off of that. But then we get, um, this amazing panel. I'm actually looking at it right now. Of all the commanders and the big shots that are attending the wedding. All the big names. I'll just read a couple of them off right now. Black Market King... God of Fortune Dufle, or Flayed, President of the World Economic Times. Now, considering there's a mention of economic times and big news, I'm going to assume that some sort of information gathering network or news network for the underground, but I could very well be wrong, and his name is Morgan. Um, there was, of course, the plain Queen of the Pleasure Quarter, Sushi. Or Sushi, I'm not really sure how to say it. I stuck it words with the S down. But uh, there's the Great Mortigan, I believe. The Drug Pelago. There's the Storage Industry Titan. The, con the, conceal the Concealer Guyberson, I believe. And Shipping Magnet Deep Ocean Unit. Now, we also find out when Aladdin and Peckons are talking. That apparently Big Mom wasn't just going to kill Jinbei, no, she was going to kill his crew. And that's why he ran away. So it had nothing to do with Jinbei being a coward. As we knew. We knew whatever it was. Jinbei ran away because it was something he couldn't pay. Now there is this one panel. Where Jinbei said, And Aladdin, whether or not I die for Straw Hat Luffy is not a question of if I do it. It's a qu question of when. Um, before I was a little iffy on the death thing, once again, I'm going to be doing an entire discussion video solely on the matter of Jinbei possibly dying, but this does set up the possibility for Jinbei to die. It, it, it really, really does. We also find out that Jim and, uh, Jinbei and Aladdin are very close. Um, we find, we see more of Ritu being concerned for Sanji. Then a lot of the chapter, if I'm being honest, I mean, there are, there's a lot of good art. A lot of this chapter's greatness comes from a great art in scenes like the scene with the candy escalator. But a lot of it is just people arriving at the wedding. Of course, there is the scene where we find out that, uh, Dogtooth took out one of the guards with a jelly bean. So, yeah, Dogtooth is no joke. Capone even said he's the most trouble, so I'm assuming he means compared to Big Mom. I just, I'm assuming. <coughs> and a lot of it is just then talking about food, people drinking. We get a panel that is very similar to Big Mom's introductory panel, with Big Mom like holding her hands up like this with people surrounding her. And it's really just her giving a speech, welcoming people. It's a lot of stuff like that. And that's really it. I mean, it's a very short, basic chapter. The chapter was literally only... Only like 12 pages. I think maybe the shortest one page chapter I've ever read. The 861? Now, this was interesting. 
Okay, so this was just a lot more, once again, a lot more set up. A lot more just showing off characters. We did see, uh, Mother Kramel, who... Big Mom said mother, so I'm assuming it's Big Mom's mother. And when somebody asked about it, there's obviously some dark secret or something she doesn't like talking about. Is she gets pissed and actually music conquers hockey on him. Like, it confirmed. That would... I can say with 99% certainty that that would conquer Kagi. Now, we see all the people I mentioned earlier that were introduced in the last chapter bringing in their gifts. And she talks about the, uh, Tank, Tamo, Tame, Time Boko, or whatever it's called, which is the chest, um, from the Rigu Kingdom, from Fifth Man Island, the one with the bomb. Uh, yeah. So, apparently, she's going to open it during the grand banquet at their pudding ceremony. So now we'll give her another reason to kill Luffy. Um, Caesar gets that. We find out Caesar is going to be like flying around and holding the mirror. And his job is going to be to get them out of there. Um, I don't think that will play a major role. I don't see Caesar messing up on this. If Big Mom, if he messes it up, they all die. Now, uh, there is this one scene. There's this weird scene of a broken mask. No, wait, I see. So, uh, I, I was actually, I'm literally looking at the page right now as I'm talking about it. Somebody cut the head off the door. I see what happened there. No, but, uh, Capone goes into a tag. We find out the Straw Hats are sleeping. And Jinbei tells them that they haven't rested. Which is true. Which, I will argue, Nami and Luffy could have re rested briefly in prison. Like, Nami and Luffy especially are probably the most exhausted out of all of them. Because they were imprisoned. And they were in prison, interrogated. I mean, not like... But yeah, so, they're all exhausted. You see the real... I, I'm not sure why Nami's hugging Chopper, though. Um, we find... So, Pudding is using her appearance. No, knowing Sanji's a pervert to try to get him to play along and work with her. And it is actually surprisingly working. Sanji is... I... Considering it now... <coughs> <coughs> now, yeah, so sick. I still had that call from two weeks ago, my guy. No, but, um, Sanji is actually considering what it was all a dream. Pudding doesn't want to kill me. Now, we know it's not true. We know Pudding's a bit. Now, there's actually like one great panel where, you see, where it's like a split, and one side is Pudding going, Oh no, it's Sanji! And the other side is her being like, I want to kill this pervert. But I mean, she's really playing on Sanji's weakness. I mean, you see, I mean, you see this weird. She's like, you can kiss me on my mouth. Aren't we going to be husband and wife? Like, she's really playing with a weakness. And that is about it. We see a panel of Big Mom welcoming all the guests, and then we get one final big panel that just Big Mom giving a speech. A lot of this, these two chapters would just. Wedding setup, wedding preparation, the things that we honestly knew we were gonna need to get, like Big Mom giving us feast, like whatever. I think my favorite part of all this was Dog Tooth, hand down, with Dog Tooth and the stuff with Sanji and Pudding at the end of 61. Now, if I had to rate this H60, I would give it a, you know what, a 9 out of 10, just to get it way too, it's way too short and there's a lot of it that seems very fillery, like just things are, like there's a lot of it that I'm just kind of don't care for, like all the civilians and the party guests going around. I'm sure it'll be great in the anime, but in the manga, just wasn't really feeling it. Uh, six fifty one is a ten out of ten, great chapter, no gripe with it. The art in these past two chapters have been amazing. And by the way, I'm back on reviewing it every Thursday and doing my live reactions every Thursday. I'm sorry that happened this week, the past two weeks. I just have not been feeling well. I actually went to the hospital yesterday about it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more One Piece videos. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And look out for later tonight, my Boruto reaction, which I'm about to go record in my Boruto review. I've heard, all I know is that I saw for Neverworld some description. It has something to do with Serata. So, yeah. Serata hype! Boruto time! Great chapter of One Piece. Peace out, guys.